Hello guys and welcome back to Fatboss TV. Today we're looking at Operator Thogar on Heroic from the Blackrock Foundry from recent raid testing and this guy is awesome. He's dubbed the train boss lights yeah. and he is fucking cool. He's a really really interesting fight. It's um it's quite painful with maybe some people who don't really understand how trains work as in if yeah. you stand in front of a train Bad things happen, especially if they're coming at you at high speed. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really interesting fight. Lots to do, lots of ad management and all that kind of stuff. It's fucking awesome. As you guys might notice, this encounter is basically on four sets of train tracks. Yeah. And on these sets of train tracks, trains will come through and they'll either do two things. They'll go straight through from one side to the other. And if you're hit by it, you are instantly dead. You cannot immune it. You can't use deterrence. You can't use anything. No damage reduction or anything will do the job. You'll just instantly die. Which is fun. It's always good. And it looks fucking hilarious when you are hit. <laughs> or they'll drop off ads. And if you're in the way when they drop off the ads, they will kill you. And these trains will not leave until you have killed the ads, which is quite an important part of the fight. Not so much when it's only um, one set of ads, but at certain points of the fight, there'll actually be two sets of ads. And we'll talk about how the ads and, and everything works when we get to that part of the video. But to start off, we're going to talk about the boss himself. So, Operator Thogar, what does he do, Alex? So, of course, as he is a World of Warcraft boss once again, who wants a tank debuff? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we this, do this every video Well, it's true because... It's it's just shit the, talk the tank debuff. It's the same every time. But, yeah, all he does is leaves a, a fire ticking dot on you and it increases the amount of damage you take from the next time he's going to apply the fire ticking dot. And it does. It's, like, quite a big increase. It's 35%. So really, you want to be taunting on one. However, there are points in the fight where you kind of have to spread out because of, well, spread like into two different groups because of the uh, trains coming in. There's a lot of ads and stuff. So you can't actually taunt on one. You might have to taunt on two. So if it's a fan and that happens, make sure you just use a big damage reduction because, yeah, it hurts quite a lot. Now, the boss will also cast something called Prototype Pulse Grenade on a target, and this will only ever target ranged characters. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll target that player and it'll spawn a little circle underneath them that will start dragging players towards the middle of the circle. And while you're in the circle, you'll actually get a stacking dot on you that does a huge amount of damage, like beyond, say, three stacks. Um, and the longer you're stood inside the circle, the more difficult it is to actually move out of the circle because you become slowed and the grip effect becomes stronger. So the idea is that when it does spawn, you don't finish a cast, you don't pick your nose, you get the fuck out of the circle. Yeah, strangely enough. And make sure you don't run into a train while you're doing it. Yeah. Because, yeah, trains, once again, trains are bad. And really, they're the only two mechanics the boss has, but he also does have a mechanic where he'll buff ads when they're up, um, increasing their damage dealt, their haste, their movement speed, and their casting time is also reduced on certain abilities, um, which does stack. So the idea is when ads do come in, you don't just ignore them because obviously they'd be weak without this buff. The idea is that you blow them up so the boss doesn't buff them too high. Now, before we go into all the different types of ads that actually come in, we need to talk about how the trains work. So, like we said at the start of the video, the trains come in, they drop off the ads, you kill the ads, and then the train will leave. Um, which is actually a really important mechanic, because if the ads aren't killed and the train stays up, trains will actually start occupying the other lanes, which means you have nowhere to run and you're just going to die. So you do need to kill the ads really, really quickly. But the trains seem to be on some form of pattern and if this pattern repeats or not we're not too sure but it's the same every time you pull the boss but at what point in the fight it repeats we don't know we well, assume it, it does. does i mean it might not you might it might have like a really really long like maybe they expect the fight to go on for 15 minutes or something and i'm, I'm sure the enraged timer on this boss is four trains coming through we didn't get to that point, but we're pretty damn sure that will be the enrage. I mean, it has to be. Come on. Yeah. That would be stylish as shit. But how the trains work is that they do seem to have some form of pattern. So really to learn the fight, you just need to keep pulling it and keep going and just last as long as you possibly can. However, the type of ads are always the same, but the amount of ads you get and in which lanes they're in is always different. So there are actually five different types of ads and four of the ads will always come on the same train and one ad will always be on its own on a single train. So let's talk about the pack of four first. You have the iron crack shots. These guys will just shoot their rifle at people. Nothing really can do about it. They don't have a lot of health. You can pretty much just AOE these down. In the same sort of category, really, is the Iron Raiders. They just apply a rend to their target. It doesn't tick very high. You just need to make sure that you AOE down these on top. However, the most important ad is the Fire Mender. So what the Fire Mender will do is that they'll have a cast, and during the, at the end of the cast, it will just make it so it heals everything. It's bad. Make yeah. sure you interrupt or stun the bloody ad. Get and just rid of it. nuke him. You can yeah. blow him up. He hasn't got a lot of health yeah. at all, so you just kill him as soon as you possibly yeah. can. Yeah, so he is definitely number one priority. And however, number two priority is the man-at-arms. 
This guy is definitely the deadliest ad out of all of them because the amount of damage he does to the raid. He'll just do a big AoE that is totally unavoidable. It is physical damage though, so if you do have some form of armor buff you can use. Everyone I bring armor know. pots. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll, fuck it. we'll do whatever we well, want. Well, that wasn't completely necessary, but you get what I'm saying. It's going to do less damage to people wearing plate or shields or whatever. Um, but yeah, you just need to kill this guy as soon as you possibly can because he does so much damage. But of course, you need to kill the fire mender first because of the hills. The hills are very, very annoying. And those four ads will come on the same train almost every single time. Just a group of four of them. And the ad that comes on his own train is the uh, iron gunnery sergeant. This guy will actually be stood on the train inside a turret. And what he'll do, he'll target random players and he'll start throwing bombs at them. And these bombs work very much the same way how bombs work on spoils, except you have no control over where they're placed apart from where you're stood. Yeah. There's no extraction button. If you move into the bomb after it's gone down the ground, it'll explode and it'll kill you. Mm. So the idea is, what, what the way that we decided to deal with this mechanic was that as soon as he came in, everyone quickly target him just to make sure they knew exactly who was being targeted by the bomb itself. And then if you did get the bomb, you just take it as far out of the group as, as you possibly can, as close to the doors where the trains actually come out because you're not likely to be stood by them. Mm. And that's pretty much all you can do with this guy. And the idea is that you blow him up as soon as you possibly can. So the ads are really, really simple. Yeah, there's not a lot to the ads, but the thing is, it's just gonna, if you don't deal with them, properly like if you don't get rid of the healer really really quickly then of course he's gonna start fucking healing everyone or you don't get rid of the man of arms quickly enough like he's gonna be getting buffed by the boss and doing even more damage so it, you just have to deal with it properly but they are very simple mechanics the biggest problem with these ads is the train being a physical block because the train will not leave until the ads are killed which is probably going to be the hardest mechanic on mythic i assume for this fight is being able to kill the ads quick enough so the train will actually get out of the way because at some points of the fight you'll actually have lanes two and three blocked which forces your raid to split into two because this will make ads spawn in lane one and four so you need to split up your raid so you get one group to go in one lane and one group to go in the other lane because if there isn't a group in one of the empty in one of the lanes that has ads let's say lane four for example and all of you are in lane one that train will never leave and you will not be able to kill those ads. And an interesting thing to note is that all the ads have a reaching attack. Yeah. So if no one is like being, if the ads aren't able to go and physically go melee hit anyone, they'll just spam the raid with these like grenade things and which are totally unavoidable and they just deal damage. So you're, when this does happen, you do need to split up your raid. So one of your tanks and a couple of healers and the DPS go over and clear the other side while the rest of the raid deals with the ads on the other side as well as having the boss, which this is probably the point where you're going to get two enkindling stacks as a tank. Um, which is pretty nasty but that's essentially the fight it's that is one of the key moments there are other moments where like uh, two gunners will come in at the same time where usually only one gunner comes in which yeah. means it's a bit chaotic because people need to run all over the place and this was generally the point where we wipe most of the time as well actually was when the two gunners are up but it's it's dealing with all these mechanics from the ads as well as avoiding new trains that are coming through and the trains come through all the time it's such a cool fight though the fact that you have to deal with all of these different mechanics and all of these bloody trains it's just such a cool idea and yeah. i'm really glad they bothered to and ultimately it to learn this fight it's all well and good knowing the mechanics but it is learning the pattern because it's the same every single time it's exactly, just getting yeah. used to it um, you know, the trains will always spawn in the exact same order in the exact same place at the exact same time. It's just learning the fight progressively. We got the boss to, I think, 50 or 40%, and it'd been the same every single pull, but we couldn't get past that point. So we didn't really learn the whole pattern or if it repeats. We're not sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great fight. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to do it on Looking for Aid. Yeah, it should be fucking stupid on Looking for Aid. It's not going to be like Duramu, Mark 2. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fucking horrible. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure you do drop a like. Of course, as well, we have our little playlist, our survival guide of all the other bosses. Because <laughs> we've done pretty... Most of the bosses are nearly done. Yeah. Of course, there'll be more bosses coming up in the next oh, yes. few days. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And we will see you on the live stream. Thanks for watching. Thank you.